so now let us move over to some uh, more concepts regarding to it so guys i am removing this all and what i would be doing is i would be combining my parent js and my child and child component into other side so that it is visible to all of you and you don't get confused so remove everything and uh, this one deploy this org to source and this one as well to source so these two are now empty what i want is uh, in my parent component this one i would be uh, using a input type okay and input type would be a text value uh, name and label would be enter uh, count value okay so and what i would be doing is i would be having a on change and that would be doing a handle change okay and now we are to create this data in here so what i would be doing is handle handle change would be giving a event and uh, now i want is i want to have a start counter okay and um, initially i would be getting this to zero and now i would be doing this this dot start counter is equal to event dot target dot value okay and the value should be uh, the start counter only because but uh, it doesn't matter so uh, what i am saying that in this handle change event our start counter should also uh, function and let me uh, print the value of my start counter as well mm, okay start counter is counter okay and let me deploy the source to work so see uh, type here start counter is 67 so see our start counter is uh, getting some values and now what i want is i want my child to interfere in this as well okay so in the parent.js i have created these start counters and what i would do is i would be using at the rate api and i would initialize a counter variable to zero okay uh, now since we have created this now now what i would be doing is i would be calling this uh, calling my child component in here so what needs to be done is i would be doing c dash child 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 component and since i have annotated this uh, with the api as counter so counter would be equal to start counter okay and in this i would be doing p tag and class i would be doing this slds dash margin dash around underscore large okay and in here i would be calling this counter okay counter variable and this deploying my parent file as well so so uh, see your start counter is zero and counter is counter variable is also zero so see when my start is increasing my counter variable is also changing so how this is happening this is happening through through your parent to child relationship what i did is i created a start counter and uh, in that start counter 
I am passing a handle change event that is coming from my lightning input and now what I am doing is calling this child component in this uh, there is a counter variable and I am saying that give this counter variable a value of start counter okay now what you could do is uh, there are various other methods as well you could uh, not only restrict to uh, simple uh, defining these variables you could define an entire method as well that is uh, using at the rate api and now i would be creating a method name that would be uh, maximize maximize counter and what i would be doing is this dot counter would be uh, counter plus uh, 1000 okay so what I did is I created this public method now what I want is I want to call this public method in my parent method so I think that uh, this video is uh, would become some lengthy as well as tricky so at any point you don't understand please uh, remind this video and do watch because these concepts are very important and these are used most of the times okay and uh, what you would do is uh, so in your child component you created this method but how you could use this in your parent component so you could do is uh, you could use a button and uh, label is add 1000 to counter and title is at 1000 on click would be your handle click so now in this handle click function we would be how we would be accessing this we would see this handle and click and inside this handle click now I want to catch this method that is coming from my child component so what I would be doing is I would be using this dot template dot query selector and what I would be passing in this query selector is my C dash child component and from this child component what property do I want from this handle click I want to have the method that is maximize counter this would be my method save this deploy my parent file so so see uh, my counter is start count is 200 and counter is same if I add uh, okay uh, this so what has happened is this has uh, concatenated this so what we could uh, do is uh, in our start counter as well uh, we could do is we, we could parse this so we would be doing parse int even the target dot value CR do count as 200 add this so it becomes 1200 okay and see uh, 2022 and add 1000 so uh, it is adding this to your uh, child variable see because what we did is uh, we created a button and from that button we are accessing the method that is present in our child component so in this way we uh, handled our parent to child communication i think that this video would be quite tough i am repeating time and again because uh, when i learned i also found some difficulties so if you are getting any doubts in this uh, do comment down below so uh, now next working over uh, some uh, more concepts like like uh, now I would be demonstrating you the concept of getters and setters in your parent to child communication only so uh, what we would uh, do is uh, we would be creating uh, two variables that is current count that would be zero and prior count that would be zero and 
what we would be doing is uh, we would be uh, using a direct API and we would be doing this get counter we would be getting this counter variable and we would be setting this uh, uh, from your uh, current counter and prior counter variable so we would be doing this uh, return this dot current count and uh, we would be doing okay in here only we would be set counter and inside the value and now we would be doing is this dot current count is equal to value uh, okay and now but we want to set a prior count as well so what we would be doing is this dot prior count is equal to this dot uh, current count and now in the current count I have this value so what happened let me show you we have created this counter variable and now what we are doing is getting the value of uh, the current and prior count how we are getting this counter variable and from this this is returning the current count value okay so if I remove this as well it would work okay and uh, we, when we are setting a, count, a value in this counter from our parent what has happened is these values are also getting initialized so prior count and current count I would be creating those also prior count is and your current count is okay and uh, these are done deploy these as well to your org okay counter has also been declared as public property so now what you have to do is uh, you could not use this public property in here because uh, we are using this counter to get and set the value so Uh, this is deployed to org so see now if I type getting my point what has been happening let me show you okay so start counter is 1 2 so my start counter okay let me refresh the page so now everything is 0 and I am writing 1 in here so how this counter variable has been initialized let me tell you now since we could not create this as a public property by because we have uh, used getters and setters in order for this to have a public property so instead of counter understand this as get counter and set counter and in this we are doing our logic operations so uh, see I have uh, added one prior count is 0 if I add 2 so prior count would be uh, 1 and from here see counter variable we could access the values and see now these variables are also increasing so this was the funda of your getters and setters and mostly used uh, in your uh, parent to child relationship why because you are to make this counter variable visible to the parent as well and uh, from that uh, you are passing the values so all the values that are coming from my parent that is uh, see counter is equal to start counter so uh, it is coming into this uh, get counter and um, from here uh, it is also setting the value of counter so by this way we are working over our parent and child component I hope you could make out 0.05% of this video also now then also I would think that I have created some uh, value or added some value uh, to the Salesforce community so with this I hope you understood this video if you are having any doubt any little or minor doubt only na, as well now do comment down below I would be there to help with your doubts okay
so thanks a lot and happy coding